Hey everyone, in today's video, I want to talk about the new Schmincke Super Granulating Watercolors. Someone actually requested that I review them. And initially, I was quite excited because I like granulating colors and these are super granulating, whatever that means. So I did some research and found this blog post on Jackson's art. And I found out that this paints these new colors are actually not single pigment colors so you can actually mix them on your own and i have a few of the colors that make up these colors so it doesn't make sense for me to buy these new colors so in this video i'm going to try and reproduce the mixes using the existing colors that i already have my video is not going to be a full review for the Schmincke Super Granulating Paint. However, if you do want to check out full reviews, um, watch my friend Alice Lim's video because she has been using the paint for three months intensively. She has painted many sketches with them. So in this video and through her Instagram post, you will be able to get a pretty good idea how the paint performs. I'll put the link to her video and her Instagram page in my video description below. I also found a video on YouTube posted by Kimberly Creek Art where the artist actually bought all the new colors. So I'll put the link to where you can find this video as well as the link to the Jackson's blog post in the video description below. It says here on Jackson's art that the 15 new colors are grouped into three series. They are Deep Sea, Glacier, and Galaxy. So for Galaxy, it has purple and pink shades. For Glacier, it has cold blue and blue shades. For Deep Sea, it's greenish and blue colors. I actually don't have any issues with paint that use multiple pigments. I use some of those multiple pigment paints uh, as well. For example, I use a lot of sap green and this is made with multiple pigments. This is the Schmincker version which uses PY153 and PG7. Interestingly, PY153 it has been discontinued by Daniel Smith but it's still being used here which is nice. I use a lot of sap green because I paint a lot of greens. Another color that I use is Quinacridone Gold. This is the Schmincker version. And this is made with PY150 and PR101. Since I use these colors very often, it makes sense for me to get the colors in 15 ml tubes to save me time from having to mix those colors. If you take a look at the color swatches here and you know that you are going to use a lot of these colors then it makes sense to buy the 15 ml tubes but if you think you are not going to be using these colors very often then if you buy a 15 ml tube it's going to uh, remain unused for a very long time. So it's more versatile to buy individual tubes where it's easier to mix with other colors rather than having a pre-mixed color that you use to mix with other colors. These are the 12 pigments used to create the 15 super granulating colors. All right, enough of talking, let's mix some colors. Let's start by mixing Glacier Turquoise. This is a mix of PG50, which is Cobalt Turquoise, and PV16, which is Manganese Violet. I'm using the color swatches that I found online for reference. Schmincker only provides, um, they only make one version of PG50. Uh, as for Daniel Smith, they have two versions. There is Cobalt Teal Blue and Cobalt Green. So from the color swatch that I found online, it seems like there is more blue than this Manganese Violet. Both colors, by the way, are granulating colors. In fact, if I'm not wrong, um, all the 15 colors are mixed with granulating colors. 
Another reason why I prefer single pigment colors is you can have the colors mix on the paper rather than have the colors pre-mixed by the company. So when you have colors blending like this, this is definitely more interesting, visually more interesting compared to using the colors that are completely mixed. The next mix I have here is for Glacier Blue and this is a mix of PB29 and PG50. Now Schmincker actually offers three different versions of Ultramarine. There is French Ultramarine, which is the one that I'm using here. It's made with PB29. There is Ultramarine Finest, which is also PB29. The difference between Ultramarine Finest and French Ultramarine is French Ultramarine is supposed to be more granulating. But if you were to actually paint the color swatch for ultramarine finest you realize that there is still some granulation there and then the last ultramarine is ultramarine blue which is a mix of pb29 and pb15 a thalo the next color is interesting it's glacier green a mix of pr233 which is potter's pink and cobalt turquoise pg50 it looks like we can get a nice uh, neutralized color here. And this is Glacier Brown, a mix of PBR6, which is Mars Brown, and this PG26, Cobalt Green Dark. Now if you use pre-mixed colors and you want to shift the colors um, to green, well you still need to use green. So it actually makes more sense to have two separate tubes rather than the pre-mixed tube. Unless of course, um, as I have mentioned earlier, you really do use these colors uh, quite frequently. Glacier Black. This is PB35. Cobalt Azure. This is a very nice blue, a very beautiful granulating blue. I usually use this PB35 or PB36. And this is PBK11 Mars Black. Daniel Smith calls uh, their PBK11 Luna Black. And lunar black or mass black is used to mix uh, several lunar colors, so called lunar colors, in the Daniel Smith series. And now on to the Galaxy series. This is Galaxy Pink, a mix of manganese violet, PV16, and PBR33, which is mahogany brown. Daniel Smith has another PBR33, which is called Walnut Brown, which has been discontinued. I do prefer to use uh, individual pigments because, because you can mix the colors on paper like this. Galaxy Violet is a mix of Potter's Pink and French Ultramarine. This should be interesting. By the way, my sketchbook is actually flat on the surface, I mean on the table. It's not tilted so that the paint can run around in all directions. Let me put a little bit more potter's pink here and see what happens. Galaxy Blue is a mix of Cobalt Turquoise and French Ultramarine. Perhaps I use too much water here. Galaxy Brown is a mix of Cobalt Violet Hue, PV62, and Mars Brown, PBR6. Daniel Smith actually mixed three versions of PB, PBR6. I think it's the environmentally friendly um, 
colors. Can't re I can't remember the exact name though. Galaxy Black is a mix of French Ultramarine and Mars Black. And next we have the Deep Sea series. This is French Ultramarine with PG-18. This is Deep Sea Green. PG-18 is Viridian. And this is Deep Sea Violet, French Ultramarine and Mahogany Brown. You may have noticed that a lot of these new colors, they use French Ultramarine. And this is Deep Sea Blue, a mix of Cobalt Turquoise, French Ultramarine and Manganese Violet. Cobalt Turquoise um, is also quite common. Deep Sea Indigo, this is Viridian with Cobalt Violet Hue. Viridian is a nice color if you are not into Thalo. And Viridian it granulates unlike Thalo. Thalo Green, I mean. So this is sort of a mix between two secondary colors, green and violet. Alright, the last mix, Deep Sea Black, Cobalt Azure, Mars Black and Cobalt Blue Deep. Cobalt Blue Deep, uh, PB74, this is a very granulating color, has a lot of texture. I mean, Cobalt Blue Deep itself is super granulating. I really don't like to add black to colors because it really uh, it really sort of uh, kills the vibrancy so these are the mixes I have they do look quite different compared to the color swatches from the super granulating colors mostly because the color blends here they are more obvious now at a glance I can see certain colors are more granulating compared to others so the more granulating colors or the mixes are the ones that use cobalt turquoise PG50, Porter's Pink PR233, French Ultramarine, and Manganese Violet. So these four colors they really have a very obvious granulation. The other colors they still granulate just not as obvious compared to these four. These two colors Glacier Blue and Galaxy Blue, they actually use the same pigment, PB29 and PG50. So if you have these two colors, like this, separately, you will be able to use Cobalt Turquoise, French Ultramarine, as well as Glacier Blue and Galaxy Blue. So you can use four colors rather than buying a tube of Glacier Blue, in which case you only get Glacier Blue. Or a tube of Galaxy Blue, in which case you only have galaxy blue and if you want to shift the color towards cobalt turquoise you still need to get cobalt turquoise so that's why our individual tubes or single pigment colors are more versatile let's take a look at the swatches one by one so pg50 cobalt turquoise is definitely a color you will want in your palette if you love granulation this blue or turquoise color it works very well with reds to produce very beautiful granulating purples or violets. Potter's Pink. Um, Potter's Pink is not easy to use, at least for the subjects that I usually paint, I don't uh, really use Potter's Pink. Glacier Brown. So with granulating colors, you can see the pigments that are used to mix that particular color and that's very nice, very beautiful. This is Glacier Black. So some of the more granulating colors, the pigments would actually separate quite obviously. This is um, 
Viridian and Ultramarine. This is Ultramarine and Mahogany Brown. And this is a mix of three pigments. This is Galaxy Pink, Manganese Violet is also a very nice um, granulating color. Galaxy Violet, this is with Potter's Pink and Ultramarine. Galaxy Blue, Galaxy Brown, Galaxy Black. Deep Sea Indigo, Deep Sea Black, and this here is Mahogany Brown, um, PBR33, and this is Walnut Brown, the discontinued color, which is also PBR33. I believe this is the pigment that's used to mix the other colors, not this one. This one is obviously too dark. Out of the single pigment colors that I have here, the ones that I would recommend would be French Ultramarine, of course. This is so useful, so versatile. Mahogany Brown PBR33 is quite nice. You can use this to mix with blues to get neutralized our colors, very beautiful grays. This is quite nice. Cobalt Turquoise, a very beautiful color on its own and also for mixing. Potter's Pink, if you paint a lot of subjects that have that muted uh, pink or brown color, this is good for mixing with blues, uh, some certain blues to get the neutralized grays. Manganese Violet is good if you want a secondary color, a violet or purple. Viridian um, can be nice too especially if you don't like the very glaring or attention-grabbing thalo green. And cobalt blue deep, um, really nice color. Super granulating on its own, but very expensive because this is from series four. Oh, cobalt turquoise is also from series four. So you may want to get the a PG50 from Daniel Smith instead, which is of a lower series, but the quality is the same. Colors look almost the same, but Daniel Smith's version of PG50 is significantly cheaper. All right, I hope this video is helpful. By the way, guys, I am selling off some excess watercolor paint to make space to get more colors to test and also to make more videos like this. So if you're interested to get some watercolor from me, you can check out the list of colors that I have available for sale in the video description below. Alright, see you guys in the next video. Bye!